What's going on YouTube, it's Gadgets Boy. Welcome to another video and in front of me is the brand new Oppo Reno 2. I know that this is not new for most people but this is new to the European market so in the UK we're gonna be able to get hold of this now which is amazing. And for 449 pounds this is packing a punch. It has a lot going for it which we'll go through just in a minute but in the meantime let's unbox it first and then go through those specifications and see why this is worth considering for your next smartphone. By the way, shout out to Oppo for this amazing packaging as well. It looks really nice and it kind of shimmers. I don't know if you guys can see it. It kind of shimmers as the light shines against it as well, which kind of shows you what to expect when you open the box. So this is the eight gig RAM version with 256 gig of internal storage. And uh, yeah, let's open the box and see what comes in the European uh, edition, especially the UK version uh, that we've got here. So here we are, take the lead off and we are greeted with Oppo Reno 2 card right there straight away. And if I just take this out, so this is your user manual and that kind of information that you might need to give a read first if you're new to this. Uh, just take that all the way out. So you've got your user manual and warranty, inform warranty information in there. So do, do give that a read and keep that safe uh, for future purposes. And then next is the actual device itself. So you get quick information on the front there with what you get with this. Uh, so straight away tells you about the quad camera setup and the zoom capabilities as well and the ultra dark mode for night photography. And then you've got the uh, steady shots, ultra, ultra steady shots, the size of the display. You've got VOOC uh, charges off for fast charging and the size of the memory and storage that you get with the device itself and wrapped up really nicely. But we'll put that to the side for a second and see what else is inside of the box. It comes with this really nice case. Uh, it's like a leather finishing. It's probably full leather as you can tell there, but this looks really nice. This is the first time I've seen something quite premium that comes for free inside of the packaging of any smartphone that I've reviewed uh, in my lifetime here. This looks really nice and I like that color as well. Uh, so this is the ocean blue uh, color as well, which we'll get a closer look at just in a second. It also comes with a free pair of in-ear headphones, which has nice little details in there with like this green insert inside of it, which looks really nice. It just goes with the old color of the smartphone as well. So this is ocean blue as mentioned already. So this comes with a 3.5 mil headphone. Um, so again, it comes with a 3.5 mil headphone jack so you'd be able to use your pair of headphones without having to invest in any new Bluetooth sets of headphones. This is a USB cable that comes with it. So it's a USB-C uh, cable, again, with that green insert in there as well, which looks really nice. It, again, goes with the design language that Oppo are trying to go for here. And then we have the three pin plug. Again, because we're in the UK, you get a three pin pl plug here with it. So this is a supercharged or VOOC uh, charge unit. So you'd be able to charge your smartphone very quickly uh, up from zero, for example. And right at the bottom, you have your SIM ejector tool, which is funny, actually, that's right at the bottom. But what's significant about this is this O here is actually designed to look like the Oppo uh, logo. So if you, if you look closer there, you can see that the O re resembles the O in the Oppo. Uh, but tiny little details there for you. So here's the Oppo Reno 2 itself in ocean blue. As you can see there, it looks really nice, especially when it shimmers against lights. It just looks really nice and curved a little bit just on the back with Corning Gorilla Glass on the back, so it's quite tough, as you can see there. Uh, on the side here, we have your volume rocker, so that's your left side of the device. And if we go on the other side of the device, we have the power button uh, situated, situated right there. And also that's where your SIM, uh, SIM card tray is as well. On the bottom, we have the USB-C port, a 3.5 mil headphone jack, and your speaker grill as well, as you can see there, just nicely arranged at the bottom, then a microphone as well. And up top, we have the pop-up camera. So the pop-up camera is a shark theme design. So I'll show you guys when I switch it on. So it's a selfie camera that houses that 16 megapixel front facing snapper, which is really good. Uh, on the front is a screen protector that's already installed as well. So don't try and peel that off. So on that back camera setup, you have a 48 megapixel main camera uh, with F1.7 aperture. Then you have a 13 megapixel telephoto with F2.4 aperture. And then you've got two megapixel mono portrait depth sensing camera and you've got 8 megapixel f2.2 ultra wide angle lens uh, there as well. This lens is also doubles up as a macro lens as well. So again, if you get really close to your subject, you can get some nice detail in there as well. And then you've got a really nice design of Oppo uh, writing on there and the logo, which I really like. And there's a nice dimple, uh, which is there. It's called ODUT. And with ODUT, it means when you place your smartphone flat on the surface, it won't scratch your camera lenses. Just gives it, gives it that extra protection, which is pretty much needed these days for me anyway. So here we have the display and this is a 6.5 inch AMOLED display and it's tall at 20 by nine aspect ratio. 
You got 401 pixels per inch as well, and this is 1080 by 2400 uh, in terms of re resolution. For battery, you get 4,000 milliamp hour battery, but as I mentioned earlier, you get Oppo's VUC 3.0 charging technology in there. So in the box, you get 21 fast charger that will charge your device up to 50% in just half an hour, which is really good. You've also got that fingerprint sensor that's built underneath the display there, which I'm just about to set up my fingerprint here in a second. Uh, again, that's a really nice design. And with that pop-up camera, it means we get that full uh, screen display with no notch or anything like that. So this is running Android 9 with ColorOS and it's got Snapdragon 730G chipset in there. And with, Snap with the Snapdragon 730G, that's optimized for gaming. So if you're a gamer out there, this would be really good for you. So if you're playing things like Call of Duty, uh, you'll be able to have a really good experience without having to worry about uh, your processing power at all. With ColorOS 6, there's hardly any pre-installed software in there. You've got a couple like Facebook, you've got the uh, Swoop uh, editing app on there as well. Sorry, uh, so Loop editing app, if I can say that correctly. You've got Game Space as well, which optimizes the device uh, for gaming scenarios. If when you're gaming, it optimizes the phone, so you get the best, ex best experience when you're gaming. Okay, so to also show you that camera that pops up at the top, so here's a quick demo uh, to show you what that looks like. So if we go like that to get a selfie, so that pops up and it's got drop detection as well. So if you're about to drop it, that will automatically collapse itself so you don't damage it. So if you press that back, that's really cool. And it's not too slow either. And you get really cool animation on the front display as well that shows you when that's in operation. For video, the Reno 2 is capable of 4K at 30 frames per second, uh, 1080p at 30 and 60 frames, 720p at 30 and 60 frames per second as well. So uh, you have to pick and choose uh, what resolution you want to be recording in and to suit your need. Uh, you've got slow-mo video, video recording as well, 1080p and 720p. And you've got 3D audio effects as well for 3D recording. So if you're far away or close to the device, you'll be able to pick up your voice depending on how close you are and stuff. And it still sound really clear. On the night photography, you select night and also you've got option uh, for tripod there. So you've got tripod mode, which means if you want to do stuff like astrophotography, you can do so. So it'll keep it nice and steady and uh, it'll, it'll be really nice and sharp as well with clarity and a lot of detail uh, in your shot. And here's macro lens mode in action as well. So as soon as you get it close uh, enough, uh, enough distance to the, so the subject, the phone will detect that and it will go into micro, macro lens mode. As you can see there, it keeps popping on and off, depending on how close I am. So you can see the HDR and macro lens in action there. Let's just snap that. And there you are. So we get really nice up close and personal to the subject and get really good detail and sharp as well. In addition to the Reno 2 as well, Oppo also announced this, the Oppo Encore Q1. So this is a wireless noise cancelling headphone with hybrid uh, active noise cancellation technology. It's got superior sound performance, got long battery life, up to 15 hours of non-stop high quality playtime with active noise cancellation on. And you've got high level of comfort according to Oppo, but I'm yet to test this out to uh, confirm all those things. But here it is in the packaging, just to show you that as well as promised. So here it is, it comes in this nice orange color with a neck band there as well. So you got all your ports on this side for charging it. I believe it's a micro, let's have a look actually before I say that. It's a USB-C charger, uh, which is cool. You got active noise cancellation button right there and your volume rocker as well on that side, which is there. And uh, a power button underneath it as well. On the other side, there's nothing there at all. And then you got your earpiece there just dangling. Uh, really nice and soft as well. This looks like it's going to be a comfortable one, so I'm looking forward to actually trying this out myself. What you'll also notice as well on this is that th there's a magnet on there as well, so this automatically just attached together. So when you've got this around your neck, it would be really nice for that to attach so it doesn't dangle left, right and centre when you've got it around, around your neck or when you're running as well if you're not using it. Elsewhere in the box you get charging cable and some spare ear tips as well, so again, choose the right one so it fits really nice and well in your ears. So that's it for the Oppo Reno 2. I think a first glance, first impression, I think it really it looks really good. Camera looks really good as well. I was testing it at the launch event and also the display just looks fantastic. I love the camera array setup as well. The design looks amazing. Uh, battery life should last me all day long. Uh, gaming on there looks good as well. There's no lag at all. It just, it's just really, it just runs really smoothly. Uh, there's a lot of security option there as well, which is good. Got that new editing option. Uh, the night mode on there is good, cool. Macro lens is good as well. And for the price of £449, I think uh, you can't really go wrong with this, with this kind of uh, device as well. But I'm going to test this some more. So again, make sure you follow me on Twitter at GadgetsBoy and on Instagram as well at GadgetsBoy for some sample shots and so on. Uh, but in the meantime, guys, make sure you subscribe. It really helps me out a lot. And hit that bell notification as well if this is your first time on the channel. Uh, but in the meantime, let me know what you think in the comments below. And uh, thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one.